today we take a look on the Dehancer Pro plugin for Adobe's Lightroom Classic. Dehancer allows to apply a film emulation on your photos and that does it way much better than the grain filters in Photoshop. And I just realized this film has already expired. Too bad. Before we start we check how we can install this plugin. I have here version 2.2 which I'm gonna install now and after that we can start. You open Lightroom, go to Edit in the upper left corner and open Preferences. There you click on External Editing and choose in the field Additional External Editor the executable file of Dehancer, which you should find under User Program Files Dehancer Lightroom Plugin on Windows. And you shouldn't forget to set the file format to TIFF and 16-bit depth. The color gamut should be set to sRGB because Dehancer supports, according to their documentation, only this gamut at the moment. After this is done, you can start. We click on OK, choose the image we want to edit and make a right click, look for Edit In and choose the Dehancer plugin. A dialog opens where you can choose the parameters again in which you want to edit this image. We leave everything like it is. If you start Dehancer the first time, you will be confronted with the activation. I can't show you this now because mine is already activated and what you need to know is that all the film profiles will be downloaded separately. Nevertheless, here's the surface of Dehancer and we gonna start on the left side where you find all the film profiles. You can filter the profiles by color negatives and positives, motion picture and so on. As well you find a slider to change the exposure value from minus 2 to plus 2. But here it starts already to get tricky. This slider is affecting the image different than like in Lightroom. The saturation, the color cast, color temperature and contrast are also affected by using it. Like in analog photography where this process is called push and pull. In the upper right side we have the checkbox to turn the preview on and off and to jump from zoom to a fitted view. A button to turn the histogram on and off you find here too. So on the right side you find now all the parameters to adjust the image. Like color temperature and the tint settings, that means green and magenta. The different sliders against chromatic aberrations. And black and white point can be changed under the Expand tab to add more contrast or reduce the highlights for example. The Print tab I will ignore because this becomes important if the image should be printed on a printable medium, but even here you can play around just to see how this affects the image. The Color Head tab is similar to the Calibration tab in Lightroom where you can change the RGB channels or better said CMYK channels. This is accompanied by two sliders which allow to adjust the exposure and the overall blend of the settings. And after all we come now to what Dehancer is about to add all the flaws of analog film to our image which the digital possibilities made us forget. We start here with the grain and as you can see a nice texture of grain is applied to the image which can be adjusted in its size, amount, resolution. And what is really nice is the option to adjust the grain to certain areas of the image via the highlights, midtones and shadows. On the bottom you can choose the film type again and on negative the grain is much more present and mode allows to choose between analog and digital in which the grain is more irregular. The next big thing is the halation tab. This adds a reddish fringing around high contrast edges and light sources. You can set here how smooth the transition should be or amplify it more. Global Diffusion lets you add a more scattered halation effect and Local Diffusion is setting the diffusion of the actual halation. 
The blue compensation slider is responsible how visible the halation should be when it occurs on a blue background. And to make it easier for adjusting, there is a mask mode. The blue tab adds a glowing around light sources. This is better visible in this example. The bloom around this lantern give a bit more organic detail to the image. Like the halation, you can set up the threshold, diffusion and so on. The slider Save Lights is protecting the highlights to prevent clipping, what is a nice feature. Last but not least we have the Wingnet, well known from the Lightroom editing, works this Wingnetting without big surprises. In the Dehancer documentation are settings recommended for the best result when you are using Adobe Camera Raw. So let's try these settings quick. We have as profile Adobe Standard Profile, the exposure is set to minus one stop, contrast is on minus 40 and the blacks are on plus 60. The tone curve and noise reduction stays untouched and we set the sharpening to zero. I'm gonna open that in Dehancer and we'll hopefully get some nice skin tones. Let's check the classic negative films and consequently we take a portrait film. This Aqua portrait looks with adjustments in the temperature, contrast, tint and a linear color density quite good. Now I used the print tab because that's the only place where things like saturation and contrast can be set. With the Fuji color superior it looks even better. The skin tones looking natural and differentiated. There are many other possibilities of course and not all films are fitting to every subject. So my final words about Dehancer Pro are it does a great job when you want to achieve a film look on your images. In particular the big amount of emulated films are impressive and I'm sure there will be more. It adds all the analog flaws which were gone with digital photography and allows to create imperfect images with a bit more charm. But all that is of course a question of taste and while we are on this point, thanks of its easy handling, you can't do anything wrong with your raw files. So finally said, it's a nice playground when you want that analog, respectively, film look. On the other hand, I had sometimes crashes, what means when I did a million adjustments in one picture, Dehancer just closed itself or I got the error dialog that the memory is exceeded while my machine was doing fine according to the Windows performance monitor. But this is bearable because I was just testing and I would say no one would do so much back and forth. The Dehancer team contacted me to review their plugin without any conditions or restrictions. So this video was made without any dictation and for all who got convinced or want to test it in Lightroom, there's a promo code in the description for all who want to support me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you get a nice overview about Dehancer for Lightroom and I'm looking forward to welcome you in one of my next videos. Probably it will be about Dehancer in DaVinci Resolve. So far, good light for you and until next time. Bye bye.